Doom isn't just nostalgia. It's a game that works on unique qualities. Doom and Call of Duty are both FPSs in the same way that God Hand and Uncharted are both third-person action-adventure games. This isn't about a cinematic experience. Doom is about the thrill of overwhelming combat, demons scrambling madly through cold steel corridors to rip your guts out, jumping and climbing and weaving through enemy fire all around you, ripping devil's horns off and stabbing them in the faces with them. It's sad how unique Doom feels in a market flooded with big budget FPS games. This is a real action game in the vein of Devil May Cry and Bayonetta, but in first person. I've always had a problem with those games as I feel too detached from the combat. Triggering a load of scripted sequences from a camera floating miles away, the best action games make you feel the impact of every attack. The satisfaction of lining up a good shotgun blast in Resi 4, or headshot in Unreal Tournament, that's what Doom is all about. Learning about the threats around you and your options in dealing with them. The perfect balance of terrifying odds and your own feeling of power in opposition to it. Doom is the most exciting game I've played in years. There are games about demons and shooting and everything, but Doom actually feels like fighting hell. It's frantic and fast paced as fuck, but there's a real importance to every wee thing you do in a fight. You don't have time to consciously consider strategies, you just have to kill everything right now. You move at lightning pace, but it feels necessary. You have to be quick to deal with all the shit being thrown at you. The game teaches you to get as close as possible to an enemy, while making sure you never feel safe in doing that. Enemies drop health and ammo if you finish them off with short range takedowns, and weapons are generally more effective when fired close up, but get too comfortable near enemies, and you'll find yourself surrounded by teeth and explosions. If there's a couple of big threats in the room, you have to make sure you're aware of their positions at all times while you clamber around the platforms, trying to preserve your health and ammo while facing dozens of furious, murderous demons. What's so central to the appeal is the tone that it have created. Calling this game Doom instead of Doom 4 rubbed some people the wrong way, but it's perfect. The game is blunt, uncomplicated and furious. It feels pretentious to talk about it with words that have more than two syllables. Doom is guttural and instinctive, but it's taken remarkable talent and consistency of vision to make it that way. Your Doom guy is a brilliant character for this too. There's wee hints of boring FPS tropes scattered around the game and your man just tears at them apart impatiently. It's daft and funny and makes you grateful to play a game so intensely focused on excitement. 1993 made a game called Doom and delivered the title's promises perfectly as the technology and design could allow. The same is true for 2016. New Doom is serving the purpose of being the quintessential blunt, gory, primal video game of Zera. It's such a surprise. What people were nervously hoping for was a game worthy of the Doom name. What we've ended up with is not only the best Doom game, but the most well-designed and satisfying combat action game of this generation.